Hello, this is Greg Allison from Green Greg's Garden and Worm Farm coming to you from my aquaponics greenhouse. Today we're going to talk about progress on my aquaponics greenhouse. This is the back side of the greenhouse. This thing is 24 foot wide, oh, 16 foot tall, and 75 foot long. Just got the door back door done. Got a screen over where I'm going to put the swamp cooler windows. And this is my aquaponics grow bed. Now previously you might have seen video with uh, uh, the, the air blowers in here that are still in here, but I've covered all this up with styrofoam to keep the algae from growing. The air is blowing, as you can see, but I do have algae in here unfortunately, and mosquitoes. So uh, we left this water uncovered a little bit too long. But in any event, I did make a couple discoveries. One is I thought I had enough room in here I could probably push this down a little bit. I should have had 8 inches more in here than I had length. This is supposed to be a 64 foot 8 inch long grow bed. Turns out I should have made it maybe a little bit longer because I thought I had more margin down here for the uh, flow where the uh, water comes in from the water tanks and also from the water pump. Water is being pumped in from down here and uh, it comes around and part of it comes back out here here's my fish tanks my plumbing and things are still a little bit under construction so you still, we still have a lot of plumbing stuff out here the pipe down through here this is the return pipe from the end back down there and it comes to this pump that's for priming it although this level is low enough as long as that's open and air comes in I don't have to prime it, but that's uh, the valve, or if I need another overflow valve, I can use that, or if I need to direct water anywhere else, I can use that. And then I come through here, there's a bypass, because I found out three uh, two-inch drains are not sufficient to drain out what's coming out of this little one-and-a-half-inch pipe. i got to have more drains, or... A bypass so I've got a bypass and this is uh, how I adjust the flow on it and this water comes straight out from the back back to the front that keeps me from overflowing these tanks because my pump is so powerful and you can see I have each of the inputs also on these tanks uh, metered with a valve and the valves are adjusted uh, this is closed a little bit more since this is closer to the pump it would fill this tank faster so I've adjusted the flow right rates where it balances out and uh, so these are my water tanks and you will discover that I've also had to cover the water tanks up no I've not covered this in the back quite yet because the water tanks also will grow algae with the, if there's light now they're painted black to prevent algae from getting here but I had them uncovered a little too long and right now I'm just growing goldfish and I have uh, this is to break the siphon so and I got a I got a piece down here with a foil over it. You can't see it. And I've just had to rotate a little bit ago because that thing got stopped up. So I'm gonna have to keep a check on that. Now for now I'm just growing goldfish because they are nice cool water fish. And uh, they will be able to handle this system getting stabilized better than a lot of other more sensitive fish. So you gotta keep this top covered. Wow, I don't know why this ain't focusing. Anyway. Oh. The camera's freaking out. And I think I got it zoomed. Ah, very good. That's what happens when I handle my camera and I'm moving everything else around. Excuse me, pardon me. Okay, here's my fans. That's a five foot diameter fan. Another five foot diameter fan. When I put swamp coolers at the other end, it will pull the air through them and help cool this greenhouse off. I have a shade cloth on top, it's 30%. It's not enough. Here's my front door. Uh, we'll have fish tanks right here eventually. Also, this is a door frame. 
that I'm building here to go over that hole. And I'll do the same thing here. And we will put um, grow uh, trays on top of the shelves in here. Those valves will be going out to a solar hot water heater that I'm going to establish out here. This is my outdoors. You can see I got turmeric growing over there. That was a test heap I built to uh, practice building a greenhouse. This greenhouse, I will do a video on production of it later, maybe a series of videos. Uh, you can see it's uh, this is all one and a half inch PVC pipe spaced every three foot. And it's got a uh, center line, center ridge. Hey, I'm in Alabama, but still in case we get a snow a load because of uh, grand solar minimum, I'm prepared for that. And this is to help take wind loads. I got woods, big trees behind, as you can see, looking almost straight up. So I don't expect a whole lot of wind from the north side. This is facing south. And I really doubt if we get a lot of wind out of there. We've had some high winds here already. They've not been a problem. But just in case, and it'll also make it easier to pull plastic and, and uh, covers over the greenhouse because when you pull on them from this side, the whole structure wants to give instead of it sliding up. But in any event, uh, here's my air pump again. I showed this earlier in a previous video. And I had to do a DIY filter here. And again, that's pretty much how it works. So, like I said, this is an initial video. I'm going to take these styrofoam pads and quarter them in the four sections each. And then I'm going to put uh, two inch holes in them and plant lettuce in them. This is going to be a lettuce greenhouse. Come back down here. I've got little uh, trays of 72 holes in them that go in the uh, these flats and I've just planted seed in them. I put little labels on them so I can keep up. That's prize head. Uh, probably can't read it. And bada boom, bada bang. That's butter scrunch. I planted that earlier. It's already starting to come up. I'm not covering it now. This is my power service. And again the water comes in through here. Yeah, this place is still messy. Pardon the mess. Uh, we still really are in construction here, and I'm going to build another bed just like this one right over here. And so there'll be more to show when I get the lettuce growing and things get happen here. There'll be a few more lessons learned. And as you might see, I got a hoe out here. This was my herb bed. It needs some attention, don't it? And I got rabbits over here. And I got a bag of onions. I need to set them out. But I need to get this done real fast because I've got a little... Uh, podcast to attend tonight with the Oppenheimer project so that will be fun we'll talk about worms because hey I do run a worm farm in any event I hope you like this video if you like it click like subscribe and bang the bell to get updates so right now I might produce I hope to produce at least one a week I got a lot of material a lot of old videos to integrate pictures I can show the construction of my log barn you can see it way up there probably a little bit Pulling logs with the tractor, I got all this lumber sawed up, rabbits, worms, raised bed gardens. I've got a little bit of all that stuff. I've got an orchard on the other side of here, which I got to clean out because I've been really busy this last year. I've worked a lot of overtime in my day job, which is not here. And I've done a lot of, uh, well, I've run a power grid defense conference. So, been a real busy puppy. Anyway, a lot more to come. And remember, hit like, hit subscribe and bang the bell to get updates. Thank you very much. Bye.